Hi folks. Today on the bench we have this HP 54502A digital oscilloscope. I picked this up at the Hamfest in Huntsville, Alabama this last weekend and the sign on it said needs some love. So let's take a look. Okay, let's turn this on and see what happens. So you can see in this part of the screen here, uh, it has a CalRAM checksum error, recal instrument. And you also notice that the waveform is uh, kind of going up and down there. Uh, good news is it powers on and the screen works and all of that. Um, but there's something to do with that Cal. Okay, let's run the self-test on this and see what we get. You press the utility button here in the self-test menu and say test all. Okay, so it passed the display RAM test. Oh, it failed the non protected non-volatile RAM. Failed the analog trigger and failed the D to A converter. And it failed the A to D converter at the end. So we've got some issues. Okay, so as the first um, step in the calibration, I have turned off the calibration protect switch on the back of the unit, um, which you can see here. And now you can see that um, the default cal was loaded and that stopped that waveform from jumping around apparently. Uh, but let's see if we can calibrate the instrument. So I'll select uh, the utility menu here and self-cal menu and we will select cal zero channel one and say start cal and it says connect the dc cal rear panel bnc to the input channel one so i'll do that right here i have that cable connected on the back already i'll put it into channel one here and then press continue and it will execute the calibration here. Um, all of those calibrations have passed on channel one and channel two. Um, we haven't done the external one. Um, those are all defaults, but um, things are looking pretty good there. So let's try putting a signal into this uh, scope and see Okay, here you can see I've got my function generator set up as an input to channel one uh, at one megahertz and one volt uh, RMS input. So um, on the screen here, you can see that uh, it's measuring a one megahertz signal. If you look at the numbers at the bottom of the screen there, uh, between the two markers that I have on there, which are at the two peaks of the waveform. Uh, and it's doing a very nice job of displaying that sine wave. So um, if you hand calibrate it here, it seems to um, work again once it passes its calibration. However, I'm afraid that if I turn it off now, it will lose its calibration again and go back to operating the way it was. So um, good news is it seems to uh, work once it's calibrated. So if we could fix the calibration problem, this thing might actually function. So let's uh, try it. Let's turn off uh, the signal here and I'll uh, turn off the device and reboot it here. So let's unhook the signal. Uh, that goes to zero as you can see. I turn the unit off. Uh, wait a second here and then turn it back on and we'll wait for it to boot up and indeed it says default cal loaded recal instrument so i do believe that calibration storage uh, is where the problem lies so let's look into that well since there's uh, apparently a problem with a non-volatile memory in here that stores the calibration let's let's dive into this thing <clears throat> and see if we can figure out where the non-volatile memory is in this. Well, 
Okay. Let's set this down over here. And um, the inside looks relatively clean, actually. Um, not too bad. Most of the stuff appears to be um, on, the, on the motherboard that's uh, down below there. Um, so, yeah, it looks like maybe we'll have to get in here. I was just looking to see if I can see uh, the memory device anywhere in here. Ah, there it is. Let me see if I can get the camera in here, but it's a Dallas semiconductor device um, underneath the CRT there. And it is a DS1235Y. Um, and that is um, that is a five year device. In other words, there's a lithium battery in there that holds it and is guaranteed uh, to last five years. Well, since this thing was manufactured in 1989, uh, it's no surprise that that is no longer functioning. Luckily, um, there's a new model that's available that lasts 10 years that can replace that. So I'd best get one of these on order and in part two, We'll try replacing that and see where we get. Stay tuned. <laughs>